Hey, I'm Matthew Muscoviak at CNET, and today we're going to take a look at the Ankyo TX-NR616. This is a mid-range AV receiver from Ankyo, and it's currently selling for $410. And that makes it one of the best AV receiver values on the market. Now, the design is nothing special on the Ankyo. This is a big, bulky AV receiver, and the front panel doesn't look quite as refined as models from, say, Denon or Marantz. The included remote is decent, although the buttons are pretty small and it's a little more cluttered than it needs to be. Around back, you'll see why this receiver is such a good value. Including the front panel input, there are eight total HDMI inputs, which is two more than any other receiver at this price. The only catch is that there's not enough input buttons to access all of the inputs directly from the remote, so you'll need to navigate the on-screen interface to get at that eighth input. The front panel HDMI input is also MHL compatible, so it'll work with phones that support that new connection type. There's also an Ethernet port on the back, and that gives you access to all of Ankyo's built-in streaming audio services. There's Spotify, Pandora, Rhapsody, Slacker, Last.fm, Internet Radio, and DLNA streaming, which is a better selection that you'll get on most competitors. You'll notice that there's no built-in AirPlay support, Although with the Ankyo's low price, you can easily add an Apple TV, which is going to give you a lot more functionality than just AirPlay. And if you don't have Ethernet in your living room, Ankyo offers a small Wi-Fi dongle for around 25 bucks, which is a lot less than other receivers' wireless solutions. The user interface for all these services is decent compared to other receivers, but it looks a little out of date compared to something like an Apple TV or an Xbox 360. Luckily, you can skip the on-screen interface and use Ankyo's smartphone app instead, which actually works pretty well, although it can be a little buggy at times. We had CNET's resident golden ear, Steve Guttenberg, take a listen to the Ankyo sound quality. It wasn't quite up to the level of last year's Denon AVR 1912, but it was still a solid performer overall. Blu-ray concert discs sounded great, as well as Blu-ray movies, although the Denon is slightly better, especially with movies. Really, the only thing that gives us pause about the Ankyo are some early complaints about firmware glitches. We didn't run into any major problems with our review sample with the latest firmware loaded up, but some buyers have definitely had issues. But that doesn't hold us back from thinking the Ankyo is still a tremendous value overall, with tons of HDMI inputs, a cheap Wi-Fi adapter, and lots of streaming media services. If you're looking to buy an AV receiver, this model or one of Ankyo's step-down models should be on your short list. I'm Matthew Muscoviak, and this is the Ankyo TX-NR616.